This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level Zero NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. Hi, everybody! <laughs> Hi, everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to Quest for Glory I! <laughs> I'm not yeah. ready for this. for one! Oh! <laughs> I hope you had a great week. I, I know you were looking know. forward to this all week. You were thinking, boy, I can't wait to see Matt and Luke and Andrew play fucking... Oh! <laughs> fucking, uh... Quest for Glory, man. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'm gonna kick back and drink a beer in the middle of the day and watch them play. <laughs> wow, I... I literally just picked up six silver coins, and now I am bogged down. I'm carrying too much. Ah, oh boy. Uh, drop. Flask. Okay. Is you two flasks it. enough? Two flasks was enough. Don't you dare uh, drop those pieces of paper, though. No. <laughs> you hold really on to should. those. They've never had any use. But I am insisting, for whatever reason, on carrying them all the way to the end of the game. We're going to carry them into the next game. Yeah. I mean, they may not still be there. If those pieces of paper are currency, uh, they might be worth hanging on to. That's true. Ooh, valid point. I oh, didn't even uh, think about that. Uh, fun fact. Um, our uh, we, we were informed that Fer de Ferdern, uh, and I'm probably mispronouncing that horribly, means horse feathers. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yep. So that's what the name means. A little bit of trivia for uh, all of you out there. If I sound drunk, it's uh, I'm not drunk for once. Look, here's a little, here's a little trivia for you. It's a little for the fur darn. I am uh, currently dealing with uh, birch pollen, attempting to make baby birches in my fucking face. Nice. Uh, and uh, my body is like, nah, nah, that's nah. not happening. Yeah. So any noises are merely just uh, incidental side effects of your body preventing trees from growing in your fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening. And I, uh, I apologize if I, uh, I'm a little off my game, you know? Getting yourself just a little bit face fucked by a plant. Just a little tiny bit. Hey, are we going to throw daggers against that dude? Against which dude? Yeah, you know, Brutus or Bruto or Bluto or Billy Bruno? Or Mac or Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's playing ugly to me. I no, wonder, I wonder, I wonder if he's some fun. ever had some fun in his whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Until the sun comes up over, up over Santa Monica Boulevard. Well, not in this case. You know, I would love to be around town when Bruno was here so I could get the uh the <laughs> the password to uh to the Brigands cave. That'd be really nice. That'd be awesome. We need him. Welcome to wasting time waiting for Bruno. I mean, like I know the password. I can just do it. I We're know. not going to get full points. But, it's, you know, we we practiced throwing daggers last week specifically so we could take him on. Well, no, we, we practiced daggers last week so that we could take on the, the Thieves Guild Chief, which we did. We won 15 gold and we will never go back there again. Right, but maybe we can take him on too, right? You think? No, no, he will automatically kill you. There is no way to beat Bruno. Oh. Uh. Bullshit. The only benefit to Bruno is after you have uh, met him and talked to him in, in front of Spielberg, uh, he will be talking with a brigand at the uh, at this this um, target here. They'll just be kind of chilling out like this, just like this. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So what's this about anyway? Uh, Nibs is starting to get suspicious about us. What's the B in that bonnet? 
It seems the hero wandering around here has her lady. She thinks she's going to go for the goat on her head. <laughs> What's it to do with us? She's been asking too many questions about us. <laughs> and all laughing the Jagger is desiring me. I had to sneak out. <laughs> Maybe we got to avoid the ambush and go back for a bit to the heat is off. The heat is off. Maybe we should make our move now. Let's go ahead. Let's. No, no, we she busy with him. We take... <laughs> I'm not pressing any buttons, by the way. It's she just this fast. Out. She'll take out this and then we take her out. You see? You see? We'll take her out. Where's the back <laughs> door then? I waited the about the bouncer hops around. You get your keys still? Yeah. Don't lose it. I only got one other one. You have to search the rock for the keyhole. It's hidden good and remember the void. <laughs> Keep this one up for a Search What void? St- search the rock for the glory hole. I mean keyhole. <laughs> the void. Oh, yeah, sure. What is it? You idiot. Hide and go seeky. Get it? You think I'm a dummy or anything? Just say the word before you open the door. You might make Fred mad. You don't want Fred to get mad. My voices are all over the place. I told you I'm off my game. It's too fast. Hide and go seeky. Hide and go seeky. Got it. I gotta get back before the chief misses me. I'll be back in a bit. (laughs) 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 Oh, I'm gonna be in so much trouble. (laughs) Ooh. Hey, uh, hey, what you doing here, eh? <laughs> Spying, I'd well, eh? Who the fuck talks anyway. like that? Any- anyway, okay. I was typing throw dagger, but I like Let's how just... he was making the pain face before I even stabbed him. How about I, I wager my the... sword through your fucking face? Whoa. I think this guy might be the wolf man. <laughs> Let's clap for him. Just, just a little little Lon Chaney right there. A little um, Lon Chaney. Yeah. Search yeah. body. Couldn't happen to a nicer fella. You find a single key on the brigand's body, then you go ahead and put it away. Sweet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> These are terrible events. Yeah. Remember, we're done in by poison daggers. Just remember also that we are level zero NPCs. Mm-hmm. We're not level one. Nope. We're not level two. So I'm not going to go out of my way to, to do that again. We've seen the scene. We got the hide and go seek password. Um, I'm just going to go... I'm going to sell off the Cheetor Claw and Troll's Beard that I've got, and then we're going to make our way to the final encounter. All right. But don't we need the key? We do. But I can cast open. I have the spell. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is Quest for Glory, where there are multiple solutions to any problem. That's true. We are ulti-multi, after all. Indeed. Hey, uh, we got some questions for Glory. We do indeed. We should answer them. This is my favorite part so? of the show. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, I, I, you know, I like it for you guys, but I really like the questions for Glory. <laughs> uh, all right. We uh got an an email from a fan named Philip, and. He, he has asked us several questions. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you very much for the email, Philip. We really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, thank you for your questions for Glory. Here they go. Yeah, we have. There's so many, and we really appreciate the email. It was pretty amazing. We don't get many, so uh, we really appreciate it. And and I'm I'm glad that you you like us. You really like us, eh? Eh? All right. Gloria, question number one. Gloria Estefan or Gloria Swanson? Goodness. Uh, 
I'm, I'm going to go with Estefan. Estefan myself. Well. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for Gloria Swanson as she was an American actress and producer and she starred in dozens of silent films and was nominated three times for an Academy Award as Best Actress. I'm, I'm glad you uh, you pulled up her Wikipedia so you could know who she wants to answer. That. I'm also going to go to go with her. I, uh, I I'm really a fan of the fact that she was born on March 27th, 1899 in Chicago, <laughs> dying in 1983 in uh, Hospital New York. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if that's the name of the town or if it was a hospital in New York, but. Uh, <laughs> That ambiguity is just one of the many reasons hospital, I like her. Hospital New York. Where are you, where are you from? Uh, from Hospital. Hospital New York. Uh, so we, we got a split vote here. Uh, I, I prefer, I think, somebody who's been nominated for Academy Awards is a lot higher prestige than anybody who's actually won some Grammys, if you ask me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't back that up. You know, Gloria Estefan, your spell has unlocked the lock of the rock, but it is not yet power enough to open the rock door. You gotta, you gotta rock the lock. Uh, are this we on the edge of glory? or on? He's gonna kill us. <laughs> what? What is... Hmm? I don't understand. Sorry, I interrupted. Oh... Before you can react, the troll is upon you, and the encounter begins. I said hide and go seek, but uh, that's fine. Do you think as you approached, he yelled, "The troll is upon you"? <laughs> oh, he is. He's well, mad. Fred is. He's... Fred is real angry. Oh, he is not stopping. I mean, we're gonna win, but that's a close one. That is not where the fight happened. Yeah, maybe I was just body? pushing him backward. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Find nothing. Are we on the edge of glory or on top of the world? Uh, very good question for glory. I am on the edge of glory. I have never, <laughs> ever truly achieved it. So, on top of the world implies that we're already there. Uh, I'm on the highway to the danger zone, personally. Oh. Oh. I'm going to go with the final track from the 1990 Van Halen album for Unlawful Kernel Knowledge, uh, Top of the World. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Is that true, I was only, I was only aware you... of the uh, the Carpenters' ver uh, Top of the World, so that's that one's new to me. Are you? Do you actually feel that way, or are you just flexing your... Uh... Oh, shit. Oh, stupid good dude. You was the dinosaur week. Why always me? Fucking asshole. Fucking. I'm gonna slam him like a goddamn. Wrecking fucking boss with his fucking garbage and fucking. Suddenly, peace, tranquility permeates the area. Oh. Oh, yeah. I feel much better. I'm just gonna take a little nap. <laughs> As you do. Ring a bell. <laughs> the legs of the well are too slack. There's no place to get a good hold on him. You'll have to try somewhere else. I am a. Uh, don't <laughs> think that this is the right place to climb. <laughs> you don't have enough climbing skill to scale the well. You could say that I feel like that. Radiation Man. <laughs> what is best in life? Are we gonna are we gonna do the the Conan thing? I mean, one kind of has to, don't they? Uh, to see your enemies driven before you, to hear the lamentations of their women. Yeah, yeah. is that best in life? Uh, according to uh, Conan, it is. I think maybe cheeseburgers, though. Cheeseburgers. <laughs> I I personally prefer cheeseburgers over lamentations myself. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's it's hard to argue with Conan because he's angry. Yeah, uh, but that's Conan's never had a cheeseburger. That's true. Well, we don't know if he's had a cheeseburger. I, I absolutely mean. know. Nah, <laughs> he's he's an Arby's man. 
It's an RP standard. <laughs> that guy. Uh, ooh, what are we? Ooh, look at this, eh? Yep. Hospital New York. <laughs> <laughs> hell of a town. All right. It's, it's a hell of a town. Uh, you see a rope tautly strung about six inches off the floor. Man, they got this place all set up. There's a dark rope stretched tautly across the path. It can be easily avoided by stepping over it. Oh, really? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you saved? Oh, you were saved not that long ago. I right. did see the tri tri trip rope. I looked at it twice just to be sure. Do you have Do to, I type, need to step type over? Step over the rope? Look yeah. Down. Look. Rope. Step over a rope. All right. Fine. Perfect. Perfect. I really hate being the alarmist here, guys, but um, I regret to inform us that uh, there is no hospital in New York. <laughs> Whoa, come on. Although it immune. No! <laughs> no hospital? One. It does amuse me, though, to think that someone would name their town that, and then if someone was actually in medical distress, they would drive towards that town. <laughs> Ironically, there's no hospital in Hospital New York. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. There's just too many brigands for you right now. I'm sorry. Now what? Now what are you going to do? Oh, shit. Now I got to... Oh shit. God. Oh, like it's ah, wise guy, eh? Um um what are you going to do now? Get on table. You're not in a good spot. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't start dancing quick enough. Knuckle coughs. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's try that one more time. Close how gl door. How glorious. I think I, just, I think I just need to go to the side of the table, not not in front. Ah, that's understandable. How glorious is it to rob? Glorious is it to rob an old woman of all the stuff she put aside for her retirement? So, um. <laughs> You're quick to chime in there, Luke. I mean, and I'm the one that did it. So, <laughs> um, like, my the rationale being, like, uh, it, it it was in service of the greater good, right? Like, uh, we needed the money to be better heroes. Uh, and uh, although it is in itself a selfish and uh, unkind act, uh, it did uh, sort of uh, add points to our, our just sort of general um, glory quota. As it were, or the uh, you know, the glory index that I spoke of in the previous episode. And as you know, uh, doing things for the greater good is always the best idea. Fuck's sake! Okay, I need to restore right after pushing that chair because people are gonna um, get sick of watching this over and over again. I think that uh, there's a lot of glory in that. Mm -hmm. I, actually, I think there's no glory in it, and I just. I think what we did was we, we only robbed her of some of her things. We That's only true. robbed one room in that house. Joe Exotic. Even Joe Exotic has, has claimed his space even on this show. Yep. Um, okay. Is... Oh, where is the spot? Excellent question. This is one uh, um, one slippery situation here. Yeah. Is Glory bound to a group or a person? Is the ant from Sim Ant glorious if it achieves, it achieves to thrive the owner and the dog away? So I'm sorry. One more time? Okay. Is Glory bound to a group or to a person? 
So if the ant from Sim Ant is it is it glorious if it manages to uh, get the owner of the dog? Nice, that was beautiful. And crash, yeah, success, great success. You bar the door behind you. Oh, this. You behold a most fascinating place. The person labeled me speaks. Abandoned mobile, you enter here. <laughs> Job hunting or just sightseeing? I foresee a brilliant future for you in the fall. If you've got something to say, then speak fast or forever hold your pieces. <laughs> State your case before I case your state. <laughs> uh, this is the warlock. Let's ask about him. Everybody needs to know if your magic chicks to get by these days. Are you be surprised how effective sleeping powder is for taking out the gods of a caravan? <laughs> or not. Seems pretty obvious, actually. If you have any famous last statements, you'd better say the secret word, or you'll lament your last state. He. Uh, let's ask about uh, Elsa. You know Elsa? Oh. Yeah, then perhaps you have come to help. Perhaps you are able to take the child from the band, huh? After you have explained what you know about Elsa, you're speak, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's about time that someone else helped Elsa before it's too late. Toro and I are the only friends she's got here. She's a lot like her dad, though. She organizes these brigands and changes them from mere thugs to major rages. She plans to move the entire band away from the valley as soon as the snow clears. If that happens, I know she will never be disenchanted. Uh... Enchantment. Elsa doesn't know who she really is. That's part of the enchantment. Yeah. When, en when Elsa was left with some brigands ten years ago, all her memories were taken away from her. I borrowed a magic mirror from a friend to try to break the spell, but it only works when the spell is cast directly at you. If you're going to be the big hero, I so hope you brought a dispel potion or something. Because <laughs> if you didn't, you wasted your time. Ooh, tell me about this mirror. Ah, yes, the mirror with the leer, as Erasmus calls it. Or was it Fenris? <laughs> it reflects a spell back on the caster of the spell. Isn't that clever? It's actually one of those things that makes sense, actually. The warlock ruminates. Oh, where, where did I put that mirror? Is it on the desk in Elsa's office? I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you have business to do, then get your get busy doing your business. You fucking. All right. Well, uh, that's about all the time that we have uh, for this episode of Quest for Glory, the penultimate episode of Do You Want So You Want to Be a Hero. Uh, next episode, we are going to make our way through this uh, little maze here. We're going to free the child from within the band or whatever the world the word is there. Uh, and then we have some unfinished business with uh, with Baba Yaga that we get to attend to. So it's going to be action packed. I hope that you join us for the final episode coming up next. For now, though, thank you very much for watching. Peace. 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 <laughs> Peace, God damn it! The action density of the next episode is going to be fairly tremendous, so. I would say the action density of the next day. Uh, next episode oh. is high. <laughs> Hold on to your butts. Alright, goodbye.